Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you the difference between the Tangem wallet and the Trezor T wallet so that you can decide which one is right for you. So let's get started. So I've been running my YouTube channel for well over six years now, and I've reviewed countless wallets out there. And I always try to do honest and thorough evaluations of the wallet. But a lot of people ask me, what is the best crypto hardware wallet out there? Well, unfortunately, there's no straight answer to that question. So I've decided to do some reviews where I compare the different features of particular wallets. And the Tangem hardware wallet and the Trezor hardware wallet are two of the most popular cryptocurrency hardware wallets out there. So what are the differences between these wallets and which one is right for you is a great question. And I'm going to try to give you all of the pros and cons of both of these wallets so that you can make an intelligent decision and decide which one is right for you. So first of all, I'll talk about the Tangem wallet. There's been a lot of excitement around this wallet. It's very easy to use and scores very high on ease of use. So uh, it's a Swiss company and it is in fact a hardware based wallet. The private key is stored on this card separate from the internet. That's the main feature of a cryptocurrency hardware wallet is that the private key is stored offline. So Tangem fits that. Now it's got some very interesting features here. Uh, one of the things I like about it is that it's very non-conspicuous, right? You can just put it in your wallet. It'll hide in plain sight. No one really is any the wiser unless they know specifically what a Tangem wallet is. Uh, it works with your phone and it's very quick and easy to set up. It has a very high security rating here, EAL6+. And it's also very durable. It's resistant to dust, water, and magnets, right? If you were wondering about that. It, and also EMP. So it's quite a versatile wallet. Uh, doesn't need a battery or anything like that or cable. So it's a very unique solution. So what are its drawbacks? Well, what makes the Tangem wallet different from most cryptocurrency hardware wallets is that there is no backup phrase. That is the 12 or 24 word list that you write down when you initialize a wallet. Tangem does not have that. The private key is generated locally and randomly, but there's, it never exposes the private key in human readable format. So this is kind of a blessing and a curse, uh, but not a very strong curse, actually. The blessing is that the user does not have to manage this key, so it makes the setup for the wallet very easy. Also, the user does not have to worry about losing their backup phrase or writing it down wrong or even worse, accidentally exposing it by being tricked into revealing it. There are a lot of hackers and scammers out there that try to trick people into revealing their backup phrases. Well, it's impossible to do with the Tangem wallet because there is no backup phrase. So it takes away that attack surface. And that is a very high attack surface with cryptocurrency hardware wallets. I would say 90 to 95% of all people that get uh, their wallets hacked are done through being tricked into revealing their seed phrase or accidentally revealing it, something like that. So you don't have to worry about that with a Tangem wallet. So what is the drawback to that strategy? Well, the drawback to that is you get the Tangem card and up to two backup cards. I have the three card setup that has a primary card and two backups. And of course, if you lose one, any of the others will work. But if you lose all three of these, then you lose total access to all of your crypto. That's really not that big of a drawback because it's the same set of vulnerabilities that have been ascribed to things of value all through history. The same thing applies to, say, a gold coin. If you lose it, it's gone. 
or a diamond ring, if you lose it, it's gone, or a bearer bond, or cash, if you lose cash, it's gone. So it's really not that different than anything of value, but people in the crypto world tend to look at that as a bit of a weakness, because if you have a 24 or 12 word backup phrase, you can write that down in multiple locations, stored in different locations, it's much more flexible. And that brings us to the Trezor model, which is a traditional cryptocurrency hardware wallet. It uh, connects to your computer and it has a backup phrase that you can write down and store in multiple locations so that if you lose your Trezor device or if it's damaged or stolen, you can always buy a new one and restore using your backup phrase and regain full access to your crypto. And that's the traditional way that cryptocurrency assets are managed. So the Trezor is one of the most popular cryptocurrency hardware wallets out there. It's been around for many years. It's proven itself to be a versatile and secure cryptocurrency hardware solution. So let's talk about some of the differences between these two wallets so that uh, we can kind of decide which one is right for you. So let's talk about price. The Trezor Model T is pretty expensive, $219. Uh, you can also get the Trezor Model 1, but the Trezor Model 1 does not have a touch screen. So that's something to think about. Now the Tangent Wallet, by comparison, is a lot cheaper. Uh, you can get the set of two cards for $43.90, uh, looks like they're on sale right now, or the pack of three cards for $55.90. Uh, normally, it's $69 and $54, which is a bargain compared to what you're having to pay for that Trezor wallet. Now we'll talk about the usability. The uh, Tangem wallet uh, is phone only, right? You have to use a phone-based app to manage your Tangem wallet, and it works just fine. But there is no uh, desktop-based app for the Tangem wallet uh, because computers don't have NFC signal generators, right? They're not compatible with the NFC signal of the Tangem card. On the other hand, the uh, Trezor wallet uses the Trezor Suite, which is a desktop-based application for those of you who want to manage your cryptocurrency on your computer. So uh, as far as the usability goes, those are the big differences. Now, what about the flexibility? Now, I mentioned that the Trezor is more flexible when it comes to the backup phrase, but as far as different cryptos are concerned, it doesn't have a whole lot of flexibility as far as the cryptocurrency it supports. You'll notice here that I'm only managing Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, XRP, and Cardano. And if I wanted to add more cryptocurrencies, there's only a few more that I could manage on a Trezor. So uh, the Trezor uh, falls a little bit short when it comes to managing multiple cryptocurrencies. Now, of course, if all you're worried about is Bitcoin and Ethereum, it's more than adequate. But the Tangem wallet supports quite a few cryptocurrencies. Even though the Tangem wallet is limited in the way that it's backed up, as far as you have to make sure you just don't lose the three cards, it does support a lot more cryptocurrencies than the Trezor model. So that's another plus in its column, right? Now, as far as transparency goes, the uh, Trezor wins because it is completely transparent. The uh, Trezor firmware and the Trezor software are fully open source, available on GitHub. You can even get the uh, design plans to uh, 3D print your own Trezor device. You can actually build one. The plans are out there. So it's a fully transparent and open source wallet. And a lot of people really put that high on their list. Now, the Tangem wallet, uh, the app for the Tangem wallet is open source. You can see all the software on GitHub. And if for whatever reason, either of these companies go out of business, you would still be able to uh, write your own app to access your crypto. As far as the uh, private key itself and the way that it's generated, 
in the help center for Tangem in the security section, they talk about the random hardware number generator. Uh, the chip is built by Samsung and you can read more about how that works. The firmware is audited by a Swiss company and you can find out more about that in the security section of the Tangem page. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the report cards of the two wallets. Let's start with Trezor. I'm giving Trezor an A for security, a very secure wallet. Uh, the private key is stored offline. It's not as secure as some other more difficult solutions like the cold card or some of the air gap wallet solutions, but uh, for ease of use and security, uh, combined, I would still give the Trezor T an A on security. Functionality gets a B plus, uh, mostly because it doesn't support uh, a lot of cryptocurrencies, a lot of different cryptocurrencies. Of course, as I mentioned, if all you want to store and manage is Bitcoin and Ethereum and some of the top cryptos, that's not really that big of a deal for a lot of people. Ease of use gets a B. I really like the touch screen on the Trezor T. It's a joy to use, but the device itself is a little bit difficult to set up and configure because of the process of generating and writing down and storing the backup phrase. And then affordability, uh, it's got pretty low marks on affordability because of its $219 price tag. Now I'll give you an overview of the Tangem. Security gets an A. As I mentioned, it is a hardware wallet. Uh, the private key is stored offline. Functionality, I'm going to have to give it a B because of the inflexibility of the backup solution. Uh, you only can store your backups on the cards, and if you lose all the cards, you lose all your crypto. As I mentioned, that's the way it is with a lot of things in life. So uh, just make sure you don't lose the cards and you'll be fine. Because of the unique solution, the way that the backups are stored on the card, uh, it is a little bit inflexible as far as other crypto hardware wallets are concerned. Now, ease of use. This is where Tangem shines. I give it an A plus for ease of use. It's incredibly easy to set up and use, so I give it very high marks in ease of use. And then affordability, it gets an A. It's less than 100 bucks. Um, you can't beat that. And uh, if you're just getting into the crypto world and you want to dip your toe and you're looking for a safe and secure solution, then uh, the Tangem card scores very high marks on the affordability scale. All right, so that's it. That's my comparison of the Tangem hardware wallet with the Trezor hardware wallet. Don't forget, I've put links up in the corner there and down below in the description for the full setup videos for both of these wallets. As I mentioned over the years, I've done a lot of reviews of wallets and I've done setup videos for both of these wallets fairly recently. They should still be relevant. So check out those links if you decide you want to get one of these wallets and want a step-by-step -step tutorial on getting it set up and configured. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.